Studio. Glad you could all join us today. I am your host, Dilbert Doe, and this is the annual camping trip meeting of 2022. Uh, so it's great to see most of you back here. I say most of you because uh, we're missing a couple guys. But uh, anyway, we're here at JL's house, and uh, I would like to thank JL and his wonderful wife for allowing all you degenerates to uh, come here once a year and plan out this trip. Uh, actually, actually. I'd like to thank all the wives and the girlfriends, uh, boyfriends, and uh, hand lotions, if you're into that, allowing these men to embrace nature and make up wonderful stories of how they think they wear their pants in their relationships. But uh, I digress. Let's get into it. Now, the boys this year will be traveling down Long Lake. And uh, I don't know if anybody's been there yet, but we got a graphic up here, if you look right up here. I said we have a graphic. That's a long cake. Nope, that's JL and McKeel. We're gonna see plenty of that. We don't need to see it now. There we go, thank you, thank you. Long lake. Uh, I don't know much about the lake, as I, I'm not sure if you all do, but uh, all I know is that there's gonna be eight drunk idiots being as loud as possible and just pissing all over the place, maybe puking, right, Ben? <laughs> right, am I wrong? <laughs> But one thing I do know for sure is we're gonna have a JL kilt wearing, Ben puking, Corey pranking, Tom conversation raping, Matt fire cracking, Jason camera avoiding, Jay not helping, Mike, maybe Jenny, get him some gin. It should be a blast for all of you. Uh, I must say, before we get into our introductions here, we unfortunately have a couple regulars that won't be on the trip this year. Uh, one got married and one wasn't invited. You can guess which one is which. Uh, so, if you've already guessed, congratulations to Henry. Henry got married, all right. Congratulations, Henry, yeah, yeah, there we go. What a, that's a beautiful couple right there. It's a beautiful couple. It's good to see that uh, Matt's got his fingers. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, you know what, and uh, I know you're sad, Matt, but take some solace and to know that somebody on the trip is very excited you won't be there. Tom! Tom is excited as all hell. My name is Matt Henry. I've been riding canoes since I was an Eagle Scout. Watch me chop off my finger. I'm also the best in everything that has to do with being a Boy Scout. Uh, also, more exciting news for Henry. He's planning his retirement. Uh, I heard he's getting 100% disability. That's 50% uh, for cutting his finger off. And uh, they said 50% for being stupid enough to cut his finger off. Uh, and uh, now it was just a matter of time. It was just a matter of time. We've been saying it for the last couple years. Mark finally wasn't invited. You guys didn't invite him this year, right? Uh, no, I kid, I kid. Of course Mark would be invited. Why wouldn't he be invited? We love Mark. Uh, he actually couldn't come this year because he hates each and every one of you equally. So, Mark, that hurts, man. That really hurts. Well, we're here at JL's house, so well, let's uh, start with JL. JL, again, thank you for... Uh, hosting this meeting uh, where we talk about how we're gonna get drunk and where we're gonna do it at. So JL, you're like, the, you're like the father of the trip. I think we mentioned that before and they all love you so much, especially Jason, apparently since he bought you that kilt. Man, we have never been so afraid of a light breeze as we are now, aren't we? <laughs> uh, thanks a lot for that, Jason, and uh, I'm glad JL loves it. Uh, in fact, the kilt was so short, Corey started in OnlyFans. Uh, it's called Bear in the Woods, and apparently it's just a bunch of pictures of JL's naked hairy ass. Got one subscriber, uh, Ben Cobb. Am I right? Uh, apparently Ben uh, enjoys it, and hopefully you're getting your money out of that. J uh, JL's uh, OnlyFans. Uh, speaking of Ben, speaking of Ben, and he's here, and we're glad Ben's back. One of the oldest on the trip. Take that as a, as a badge. It's a, it's a badge of honor there to be the old son of a bitch on the trip. So Ben got going early on the trip last year. And what I mean by early is he went to bed around 4 p.m. Uh, can't completely fault him. He was obliterated. Uh, it's pretty hard to know how much booze Ben actually drank. Not too much. I mean, what do you count? You count what was on the ground after it left his stomach or what was left in his bloodstream? I don't know. Uh, he was throwing up so much around the camp that you thought he was marking his territory. Uh, it's okay, Ben. We understand. You're the old guy, you know? And you want to go to bed early after uh, dinner. Supper. It's supper. You call it supper. That's right. 
All right, Ben. Uh, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, Corey, he is back, of course, and uh, why wouldn't he be? He uh, had he ain't got shit to do. He's retired. He doesn't do a goddamn thing. Uh, in fact, I can prove it to you. I got Corey's calendar right here. This is Corey's calendar. Uh, flipping through it, nothing, nothing, nothing. Right here, camping trip. That's it. And uh, well. Well, I guess that's not it. He's got apparently a lot of things to say rain check on him. I'm not sure what a rain... Oh, that's right. It's stuff he doesn't want to do. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, Corey, good to have you back. Uh, speaking of uh, the trip and planning and Corey and everything, whose uh, bright idea was it to allow the guy who doesn't have a job to plan out the trip? Was it me? I can tell you that. Uh, don't forget to sweep up the rest of your hair off of jail's floor before you leave. Cheers. Uh, now, the next guy we got, will be, you, you all know him, you all know him very well. Uh, we've got Tom, and you all know him, you all love Tom, you do, you do. Um, it's good to have him back, good to see you Tom. If you don't know Tom, he's the really drunk one. Nah, I'm just kidding Ben, relax, don't go to bed early, we know you're the drunk one. Am I wrong? Uh, seriously though, if you don't know Tom, you must be living under a rock, or whatever it is you found to hide from him in. Uh, anyway, you know, Tom is, uh, Having a conversation with Tom is uh, like getting chosen to compete in the Hunger Games. Uh, you don't really want to be there, you just hope you get out alive. Oh, uh, he's been uh, not a person who's fucking with me this evening. I have been avoiding uh, him. Tom's a really good guy, though. He'll give you the shirt off his back and tell you uh, how great of a shirt that is. Uh, kidding, Tom. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But uh, nothing can actually ruin Tom's, Tom's time this year because Henry ain't going to be here. So, congratulations, Tom. Nah, I'm just kidding. Tom actually was excited uh, Henry was going to be here this year because he wanted to show him how much weight he lost. So, Tom, cheers. Next up, we got Matt. He's one of our favorites here. Matt Fowler. I've never really had anything bad to say about Matt. I have no jokes to go against Matt. So let's just, um, let's see if Matt wasn't married. This would be his, uh, his uh, dating profile. So, Matt, uh, here we go. This would be a uh, goatee enthusiast. Okay, yeah. He likes the bills even though they're shit. I'm sorry, even though they were shit. So that speaks a lot, he's a dedicated man. Good for you, Matt. Uh, he's a prankster, he loves throwing firecrackers. Love it, love it. Uh, he enjoys a good cigar, you know, who doesn't? Uh, and he's very good at cornholing. You want to you want a partner on the team, get Matt. Matt's a good cornholer. Uh, and he enjoys long walks on the beach at sunset. Matt, good to have you, good to have you. Now, <clears throat> this next guy, I don't think this guy needs an introduction, but let's give him one. We got Jason, the elusive Jason, a.k.a. Jesus. He's here with us again this year. Now look at it, look at his face. He's probably shaking, he hates to see himself on the TV. <laughs> oh, we love you, Jason. Uh, when Jason isn't getting plastered and screaming at the TV at the Packers game, he's avoiding any interaction with a camera that is involved. Now, you can usually find Jason sitting in his chair, smoking a blunt, keeping to himself. But on the very rare occasion, you may be able to get a glimpse of him brushing that beautiful long hair of his. Now, he will try to avoid you like the plague, but just keep being persistent. He'll eventually give in. So, cheers, Jason. Thanks for being here. Uh, Jay's here because uh, somebody told him the work was already done, so that's why he showed up. Uh, Jay avoids work like the Bills avoid Super Bowl wins. You can get him there, but you can't force him to do it. You know, you can't will him. You can't will him to do it. Uh, I'm sorry, Matt. Uh, Matt, I apologize. I did not write that. Jay wrote that, so take that up with him. Uh, I also uh, want to take this time to apologize to Mike. Uh, Mike, we're sorry that you somehow got stuck with Jay in the canoe, so we've all started a GoFundMe for you, uh, for your bail uh, in case Jay just disappears on this trip. So, Jay, good to see you. <clears throat> Mike, good to see you. Mike has been doing these canoe trips for decades. He's a veteran of these trips. And he's got great optimism, you know, almost to a fault. He is so optimistic that when he says, hey, we're close, it's right around the bend. And you find out it's not around the bend. And then you almost start to lose hope. Then you start wondering, is Mike really a good guy? Or is he just fucking with you the whole time? You don't really know. You don't really know. But uh, cheers, Mike. I think we've hit our introductions. Uh, it is good to see you all here today. And as you begin, planning out the canoe trip that starts in the next couple days, remember this and let these words sink in. Let the winds be at your back. <laughs>
the booze be plentiful. And if the tents are rocking, oh, please come a knocking. Again, I'm your host, Dilbert Doe. That has been the annual championship meeting 2022. We'll see you boys when you return from Long Lake. Good night, everyone. Mentioned. Like yeah. my name is super small so that no one can see me and it'll just be that one. And just scrolls by the screen. A tiny mention in the credits.